Hello, this is Daniel from speedcubing.org and in this video I'm going to be reviewing the Moe Mofag GLC Maylong 3x3M. So again, the first thing to note is the change of colour scheme again. It's a darker, more normal Moe colour scheme, which is fair enough. Other than that, I don't think they've changed much at all. Yeah, nothing really, except um, I'm sceptical that the plastic's exactly the same. I think they may have changed the plastic slightly because it does have a slightly different feel. It's just... Just here, there's a slightly different feel, so I think they have changed the plastic slightly. The question is, if they've changed the plastic, is if you buy a non-magnetic Maylong now, if they're producing any more, what happens? I don't know exactly. Um, so it has. I put it at 54 degrees corner cutting, but quite a lot of force required for that, which is a bit strange. It could be the tensions. This cube is slightly looser, this non magnetic Maylong, and I think it has slightly more corner cutting and slightly better reverse corner cutting. Talk of reverse corner cutting, I put this at 30 degrees. Can't quite do one piece, but 30 degrees I put it at, which isn't too bad, but it does leave a slight gap where it can't corner cut at all, which is a bit annoying, but it shouldn't really matter that much. Although I have noticed some minor lockups occasionally, but other than that, it's an excellent cube actually. So, 4x1 magnets inside, um, I think they're N35 because they're pretty weak and that seems like one of the cheapest they could use. So yeah, I reckon they're 4x1 N35, which is fair enough. So obviously it's 55.5mm, nothing's changed there, that's perfectly normal for cubes these days. And basically it's reasonably loud, louder than some flagships, possibly a bit slow, possibly, and there are some occasional minor lockups, possibly due to the lack of corner cutting, but I'm not sure if it's exactly that, because obviously you shouldn't need that much corner cutting. But other than that, I have got some very good times on this cube including my personal best of 6.62 which I got yesterday and I think I got my PB average of 50 of 10.6 something with this but I'm not too sure about that, I'll have to check. So essentially it is an excellent cube for its price. I'm not sure whether, I, I'm, it's even a main contender to be honest. It, but if I'm thinking of maining this then it does raise the question of should I just tighten the tensions of a few other cubes to make them a bit slower and see what happens with that because this is a bit slower than most cubes. So on to the mechanism I guess. So the mechanism is actually incredibly simple. It's just a simple piece design with a torpedo there just exactly the same as the standard Maylong 3x3, they haven't changed. They haven't changed almost anything. So yeah, the edges are the same. Corners are exactly the same from face value. Um, Cores the same, nothing to see there. Obviously there's a slightly different plastic I think and um, slightly different colour scheme, but they have changed one thing, magnet slots inside, you don't have that in the original Maylong, no magnet slots there, so they, they must have made some slight changes to the moulds to enable them to have magnet slots, and also notice that the magnet slots are slightly bigger than the magnet, so you could probably, you might be able to fit 4x1.5 magnets in that slot, I'm not sure. So, some slight change, nothing 
to worry about. Yep, exactly the same mechanism as you can see here. And you, when one piece is not magnetized, it, you don't really notice actually, because I guess everything else is. Uh, but yeah, it's the exact same mechanism. So, who would I recommend this cube to? Basically, anyone who wants a cube on an £8 budget, and possibly anybody else who wants to try it. I mean, it's only £8. Why don't you just try it? Because I've heard some people really, really like it and are considering using it as their mains over some much more expensive cubes. I do think it's better than the GMS. The GMS is just a rather different feel, a bit bumpier, possibly too fast, but it's reasonable. It's a reasonable cube. Some people like it, but uh, I think the, the mail on 3x3M is better than the GMS. So people disagree, and that's absolutely fine. But, um, that's my opinion. So in this monologue expected in averages of five like this, I guess I have to talk about market trading today which didn't go very well simply because people were not willing to scramble cubes for me obviously that's social distancing all this scaremongering about COVID-19 has basically caused that so if nobody scrambles cubes for me nobody comes nobody buys any cubes so I don't think I'll be doing that again for a few more weeks sadly um, it's a bit annoying but because I, I like doing it when it works successfully but when you're just standing there cubing sort of but I can't really do any time solves anything official it's just mindless cubing for hours it just gets really boring I mean I wouldn't mind sitting and doing an average of 300 or something but that's not what it's like if you're just sitting there, standing there uh, in the sun, doing basically nothing but hundreds of solves, trying to attract people's attention, but nobody wants to come because nobody's willing to mess up any cubes, sadly. So hopefully that will end eventually. Hopefully things will get back to some sort of normality at some point still plan on going to the Young Traders Market um, at the end, end of July. Hopefully that should be a lot better, but who knows. As for this average of 5, it's 11.05, which may well be the fastest I've ever done an average of 5 in that situation of um, trying to get the angle right and um, for a video demonstrating a cube which is interesting definitely now obviously we can't read too much into that but it is pretty interesting <laughs>